I want to share with you how you can find out the exact level of any book or just about any book on your shelf. Because if you're like me, at some point you have wondered, you have wondered what level is this book? And maybe you want to know more than that. You can find out more, not just what grade level, but what even month of that grade level. Maybe it's not enough for you to see the leveling system on the back of step into reading early readers. It's just too broad. And then you'll notice, well, I can read has a similar system, but it's actually not the same. And then you'll notice, oh, there's so many leveling systems out there and they're not consistent. They're not the same and they're not giving you very much information. It's very broad. And at the end of the day, it probably doesn't matter that much. We just want to make sure our kids are reading a good fit book for them. They're enjoying reading and they're growing. Great. But after I share where you can find out the exact level of books, I'll share also some reasons why it could be helpful to know the exact level of books. AR stands for accelerated readers. Does that ring a bell to anybody else? When I was in elementary school, we has, had to read AR books and then you go take a test on those old dinosaur computers in the library. And, you know, forget about the testing part, but if you go to their website, they have a huge database with just thousands of titles and they will tell you down to the year and the month on the level of that. So for example, if you type in the title, click, clack, moo, how's that type and you make sure you type it in correctly because it's not like Google. It doesn't help you out if you have any errors or if you don't type in the whole title. And you type that in underneath the book title, it'll pop up, have a little picture of the book and it will have BL and after BL, it'll have the numbers. So the, the numbers for this was 2.3. So that means it is a, a grade level two, third month of that grade level. So third month of second grade. So there are like nine months in the school year for most people. So 2.1, of course, would be, you know, the beginning or first month of that grade level, 2.2, the second month, 2.3, so on, you know, 2.5 is like you're halfway through the school year. And a 2.9 would be like the end of the school year, the last month of school. And then you would know, of course, it goes into 3.0 after that or the next grade level. So it's kind of fun to know. And first of all, again, it's not critical to know, especially as homeschoolers, we, you know, don't have to know these things, but I think it's fun to know. So especially if you don't have access to, to like actually like giving your child a test to find out their reading level, if you care to do that, you could be like, okay, I know this is like a good fit book for my kid. It's not too hard. It's not too easy. And then you go, you know, type in the title and you're like, oh, cool. Like my kid is usually reading books about the same grade level and as you start typing in titles you can see like a pattern of oh it's always around this grade level and why else might it be fun to know that is you could also notice oh well i know that now my kid reads at about this level but um they tend to enjoy reading books that are at a lower level which is totally fine by the way my son he's reading at a fourth or fifth grade level but most of the books he enjoys are more at like a you know, third grade level, that's totally fine with me, but maybe you want them to, you know, have a little bit of a challenge somewhere mixed in. So you might just like get a title that you think is a little higher of a level, see what level it is, and then, you know, have that available for them to give them a little challenge mixed in there. Also, if you are the type of person who doesn't want to buy a reading curriculum and also, especially in the younger years, kind of wants to make your own systematic system, you could literally like have a bag for each month and like if it's, you know, kindergarten or first grade, have like, you know, your if it's let's say it's first grade, you know, your 1.1 books, a couple of those and a 1.2 and so on. Or even just have a few books that for the beginning of the year, maybe have a 1.1 so you can kind of see, you know, check in like, okay, are they able to read, you know, at this level at this point in first grade. And then maybe in the middle of the year, you wanna see if they can read a 1.5 level book. And maybe at the end of the year, you wanna see if they can read a 1.9 or a 2.0 book. Again, it's more just for our own interest and in seeing how they're growing. You know, numbers aren't the critical thing. But anyway, I hope this was helpful. Let me know by blooping that like button or joining if you're not already a subscriber. And thank you so much.